It's always a bit difficult and a bit tricky to talk about my process because my process as a composer can be different from piece to piece. So um, uh, probably the easiest part of the process to talk about is when I am working on a piece of vocal music, a piece that involves choral, a choral piece, a vocal piece, song, opera, whatever, that involves text. Um, it has to start with text that jumps out at me um, and that insists that it must be set to music. Years ago when I wrote Ophelie for Halcyon um, and we had talked about uh, a Shakespeare-themed concert and I thought, oh, you know, what a, what a wonderful idea, but I don't want to just do the the, you know, expected excerpts from Shakespeare, right? So I wanted to do something interesting. So I was looking at other poetry and I found the, the French poem Ophélie by Rumbo. And as soon as I, as soon as my eyes fell on that poem, they jumped out, you know, the words jumped out. And, um, and it was almost as if they insisted that they be set to music. And so those are the pieces that I really listen to, and uh, those are the, the, the those are the texts that I really gravitate toward. Um, then it gets really boring from that point on because you start writing out lines of text and you start parsing out what the rhythm of that text is, and um, and you start translating the natural spoken rhythms of those texts into musical rhythms. And then you start uh, assigning pitches, and then you start shaping a, a, a melodic um, element or a, a, a melodic phrase to the natural spoken inflections of the of the text, and, and then you start creating all of the other things around it that are necessary for the um, communication of the of the text and the sentiment and the ambience. So, um, so that's generally my approach with vocal music. Um, with instrumental music, um, it's quite a bit different. But regardless of what I'm writing, I have to have the concept. The concept has to be clear. Um, it's going to be um, a short scherzo-like piece, um, you know, three minutes long, <laughs> three-minute movement, you know, for piano and violin. You know, it 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 has to, it's it's going to be jovial. It's going to be um, you know, um, and once that concept is in place, then, then the process again becomes, um, you know, if the sentiment is joviality, what happens melodically, what happens rhythmically, what happens, um, harmonically, what happens with the form, um, and, uh, and then it, it, it becomes very puzzle-like, um, and then it's fun again. <laughs>